this video I'll be covering the funky part of Dansk Echoes. I'll be going over each section and at the end of this video you'll be able to play it. Okay, I'm not gonna be talking much. The rhythm part goes like this. You're not gonna use this pinky. And sometimes this. Just to make this video easier, I'm going to show a few chords here. You have to know this if you want to play echoes. If you want to make improv over echoes, you need to know this. So the first part goes like this. And this is 11. Just bend them. Let's go over that a little faster. This is just 11th fret and 9th. Okay, at the second part, you're gonna start exactly the same. This is almost identical to the first part, right? But you're gonna continue like this. And I've been playing on neck pickup and Mr. Gilmore changes to middle pickup right here and it goes like this Okay, a little slower You're gonna be using your tremolo a lot It's just a pull-off. You don't have to pick it. Now let's go to the new part. And the pickup switch. A little faster this time. And if you do everything exactly right, you're gonna sound like this. After that pickup change you did on the second part, you're gonna be on your middle pickup. It's gonna get a little harder, but if you can do the third one, you're gonna be able to do the fourth one and the fifth one, and it goes like that. So it starts the same. And another one. But now, at the second one, you're just gonna pick your second string.
Let's go over that. Let's continue. When you're vibrating your 4th string, you're gonna pick it again and play the 9th fret on your 2nd string. Let's go over that fast. You don't have to pick the 11th of course, you can just... You can just mute. Let's continue. Now... Just 9th on your 2nd and 3rd strings. And you're going to do a slide to the 11th. But it can't go like this. It ruins the magic. Let's go over that. Okay, we come to the juiciest part. At your third string, you're gonna slide to the 13th. This is just a chord, actually. Again, it's 14th, 14th, and 15th. Now we're gonna add our pinky, which we haven't used yet, to this. Of course, we're gonna do it like this. But, on your 18th fret, you're gonna use your pinky. Then you're gonna pull off, or you can just strum again. So let's go over all of this. Let's go over that a little faster. It's the same. It's a D shaped.
now we come to the fourth part, which is my favorite. It's so aggressive. So we start as usual, 11th on the 2nd and 3rd string. But we immediately go to the 11th on your 1st and 2nd string. You're gonna do a rake. And you're gonna catch the 13th fret with your middle finger. And you're gonna slide. And you're gonna do a half step. You're gonna catch the 18th of your third and first string. This is so much fun to play. Then you're gonna mute your second string with one of your fingers. I do with my middle finger. You're gonna just strum. And you're gonna catch the 12, 12 and 13. Let's play that. Let's continue. It's almost the same. Now you're gonna catch 18 string like we did before. Let's go over that. Three times. Then you're gonna slide. Tremolo alert, you're gonna use it a lot here. You're gonna slide. Then with your first string, catch the 19th. Of course, you're gonna use your tremolo out here. Then, you're gonna do a full strum and a slide. Strum and slide, that's cool. You're gonna do a full step slide and catch the 21st fret. Then we're gonna go backwards. Let's go over that from start to finish. Okay, the fifth part.
We played this a couple times, so you're familiar with it. It's just... So it changes from here. If you do just one string, it's gonna sound a little dull. But what you can do is this. Because with all the delay and dirt, it's gonna sound huge. Now the new part. Then we're gonna do something similar again. Now comes to the juicy part. But now we're gonna catch the 16th fret. This part's not hard, but it's complicated. You can just strum the guitar. But what you gotta hear is this, the 19th. and the 18th. So it has to be like this. With your index finger, you're gonna mute all the other strings, like so. It's the same. Let's go over that again. Okay, the next two part is not that hard. It's actually pretty easy with some couple nuances. The first one starts like this. Eleven, nine, twelve. You're gonna do a half stuff bend on the eleventh fret. You can just use your rake. It's gonna sound a lot full with dirt and some delay. So I recommend you do that. Then you're gonna do a slide. To the 11th. Let's go over that. A pull off. Okay, now pick the 9th fret. Okay, the end of this part is very easy. We've done that a couple times. Let's go over that a little slow.
have to use your tremolo here quite a bit, so you might need to practice this like a few times, but it goes like this. It goes like... You see this? You see this pattern? It goes like this. Then you're gonna release... Without the tremolo, it actually sounds really easy. But with the tremolo, it's gonna sound like this. And with a pull-off, it's gonna sound like this. Stop this video right now and just practice this. Let's play that without any interruption. You're gonna do a half step bend here. On the 6th fret. Then you're gonna go to the 4th fret. What you gotta understand is most of the sound is coming from your tremolo. Of course, it's not this heavy, but you need your tremolo for this. Then, let's go... Fourth. Let's go over that. Let's go over that one more time. Okay, now it comes to the last part, which uh, I'm not sure I play correctly, but I'm gonna show you how I play. So it starts, like always. What we did earlier, we catch the 16th fret. Mm -hmm. 
let's play that from the start. This is a little tricky, I don't know if this is true or not, but this is how I play 13th fret 13th fret in your 4th and 3rd string Like I said, I'm not sure if this is right, but it sounds quite right, let's go over that Now what you gotta do is catch the 10th string Of course you're gonna do it with a rake Your second string is gonna be dominant here but that doesn't mean you don't have to use muting and some help from other string Then, as a finish Okay, let's go over that Echoes is definitely one of my favorite songs along with Shine On You Crazy Diamond. It's probably the reason I play guitar. So this has been fun making tutorial. If you want me to make another tutorial, one of your favorite songs maybe, ask me to make a video there so we can talk there.